everyone. Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about the old buzz bait. Now I probably started out like a lot of you guys when you first started fishing the buzz bait. I can never get one on the buzz bait. I've tried so many times. Yeah, yeah. I just I caught, I one and, here. caught one and I missed two yesterday. I know. I saw you live the other day. You kept catching. I'm like, how is it catching? I like try all these other buzz baits, like the blue ones and all those other ones. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I spent like the first three or four years, I fished this thing. I saw people catching them. I was like, why can't I catch them on this buzz bait? Why can't I catch them on this buzz bait? Then I figure out, you know, there's a few secrets that go along with the buzz bait and ways you have to fish it to catch a lot more fish. There's three things I'm going to be going over about how I sort of mastered the buzz bait. And now I'm able to catch a lot of bass on it. Now my first puzzle to this came when I went out fishing with a friend of mine. Just got done doing a take a kids fishing day at Santa Margarita Lake. He had his boat there. He asked me if I wanted to go out. I said sure. So we went out and that day he caught like five fish on the buzz bait. And I was watching how he fished it. And that was the first part of the secret. I'm like, oh my God, he's fishing it totally different than me. Now this is how I was fishing the buzz bait and the way a lot of people fish the buzz bait. Then after watching him, I kind of slowed it down. And that's the first part of the secret is slowing down your buzz bait. Now a few years ago I got sent from this company, Mega Strike, a bunch of baits to review for them. And if you can see the guy that, that promotes them and is sponsored by them right there, Roland Martin. We all know he's a pretty damn good fisherman. We also notice what it says on this buzz bait right there. That's right, the world's slowest buzz bait. And that's the first key, slow it down. After going out with my friend, I went out and that's when I produced this Buzzing Lopez show. And well, it was a dramatic difference. And that was only after the first step, which is slowing it down. Then I went into a couple other steps that helped me hone it and catch even more fish. Now I actually fish it like this. And that's what led me to catching even more fish. And, and that's, that's how I fish it today. And well, even in this pond, the unforgiving pond. I catch a lot of fish on it. Oh, there we go, guys. Buzz bait fish. <laughs> yes. There's one. No way. Yep. <laughs> Buzz bait's working it, guys. No, three. <laughs> oh, there's one. <laughs> now, the reason I fish it with those short little bursts is because. Basically what the buzz bait is, this looks like a little school of minnows. You know when you're like reeling your lure in and you go underneath the school of minnows and they all scatter? See them? See them scattering? Well that's what the blade looks like. And it looks like this, the business end behind it, is following it and lunging at it to try and get those minnows. And when it lunges, they jump. So that's why I do the slow with the little jerks, because it looks more real. Okay, that's like, you know, just the first step. There's two more things that I do a lot different than everybody else. But while I'm at that point, let me show you what I fish it with. I fish it with a shorter baitcaster. Usually a 6.6. Six, because I'm usually casting it right along the edge of reeds, or a little path in between reeds, or right at the end of the weeds. Or, you know, I need really good accuracy to get it right into those places. I mean, you're fishing with a shorter rod, it's six foot six, it's medium heavy. You have a lot more accuracy with a short rod than you do with a longer rod. And the reel. This is one of those techniques you don't need a fast reel. I use a 6.3. Really that slow, that blade has a lot of resistance. And if you have something that's slower and reels a little faster, you can reel it in a lot easier and you don't feel that resistance as much. And that leads to you feeling it when the fish hits it a lot. Because you fish it slow, they don't blow up on it. A lot of times they just 
suck it under so you feel weight. Okay, so, oh, and I use 17 pound mono. 17 pound mono, that is very important. It keeps it up and that's important. 17 pound mono. Okay, so now we know that the technique, that you have to slow it down. But the two other things that I do, and I think I do different than a lot of people is, when I'm fishing these, I use predator colors. A lot of people use white or minnow colors or anything. I always use a predator color. I always use baby bass, bluegill. If there's smallmouth in the lake, I use brown and white, which looks like a baby smallmouth. My test bond I had, for some reason in there, they liked black and red. I don't know why a crawdad would be chasing minnows on top, but black and red was good. But I hardly ever use bright colors. It's always dark predator colors. Because what I told you, when they're chasing it, this shouldn't look like another minnow, because minnows won't usually chase other minnows. <laughs> They'll be running with them, but they won't be chasing them. So you want something that looks like a predator that's following this blade that looks like a little school of minnows. And lastly, a lot of people will fish those. They'll do them just like that, just like this, just with a skirt, no trailer. They might put a trailer hook on them, but not a trailer. I always put on a black grub. Almost always black. Even with this, the baby bass, I put black on it. It's a four inch grub. I don't know, over the years, I've tried swim bait trailers on it. I've tried like frog trailers, stuff like that. But this little four inch curly tail grub has been the one that's caught the most fish when I have this on as a trailer. And if you notice right there, that's something different I do with it too. A lot of people put it on with the curly tail up. I found it actually tracks a lot better and stays straighter behind it if you aim it down. So that's sort of how I've learned to do it. It just tracks better. Same thing on spinner baits. I put it down. You put it up and it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of tracks above or but yeah. So basically that's pretty much my secrets of why I tend to catch a lot, a lot of fish on a buzz bait when a lot of people don't. Like I said, they fish it too fast. They fish the wrong colors. They either don't put a trailer on it or they put the wrong kind of trailer on it. And like I said, that's that. I learned it, but this is coming from a master because this is how he fishes them. World's slowest buzz bait. So if you don't want to listen to me, at least listen to Roland Martin. Okay, that's going to do it for this little edition of Tips and Tricks, how to catch more fish on your buzz bait. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped.